Hey there YouTube, Mr. Fedora Man here back again with the next part of uh, Let's Play Wario Land 4 Blind, and I believe this is actually the 11th part. So, we're gonna go on to the boss, Aerodent, because, well, we come to the end of the world, we have got to uh, move on. We're almost done this game, really, and truly. And there's a bloody cat again, what the... Item shop, yes. Can I, like... I, I'd like to know what these things do, but I don't know. I have no idea, man. And as, as per usual, these bosses are all blind. And I usually don't go in with items first, because I, I have no idea what the fuck I'm expecting. Um... This is... <laughs> this is, um... Special. Ooh! Oh, what guy is that? He's got a spiky bottom. Let me guess, let me guess. Yep. Oh, I got... Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm assuming I have to hit those feet, but... Um... Oh! Oh! Okay, that makes sense. Albeit, I seem a little bit more prepared because, well, I'm getting into the groove of this game, as a matter of fact. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to oop, know what to expect here. Wow, this is not at all difficult. Holy crap. Or I can hit his foot. That's cool. This is like the complete opposite of the, the clock boss. That clock boss was rage filled. And that's fire. And that is not my fault. Wario doesn't want to seem to hit the one spot I tell him to. Nope, you are not doing whatever you were going to do. See, if I at least hit this guy once, it was a triumph. This is an interesting boss, I'll say that. Oh, come on, Wario. Oh, that was really close. See, like, what the... What kind of bullshit was that? You gotta, you gotta agree with me on that one. I've been doing the same thing every single time. But no, I can't be, uh, no. Why, uh, why would hitting the boss be beneficial? That one I just plain fucked up there. But I really wish this game wouldn't be so, uh, so stingy sometimes. Like, look, I just, I just fucking missed it by, like, a tiny little centimeter. And it's like, oh no, you, you didn't hit it, so we can't, uh, we can't let you get the chance to hit the boss. Um, so, like, look. You little prick. Okay, well, at least I'm hitting him a lot. That's the good thing here. That's the thing that matters. Yeah, I'm getting a little, little rage right now. Because this game is bullshitting me right now, so. I probably could have killed him by now. Oh god, there goes one of the treasures. I could have killed him by now if uh, some of these... <sighs> Speaking of which... So what, if I want all my treasure, I need to like do this like super fast? One, two, three, four more hits, and I've got 30 seconds to do that. I don't think that's happening. That's rather unfortunate. I'd like to have beaten this boss in the time limit, but... He's got three hits, and I've got... Like, look, all my treasure is going away. This guy takes, like, 20... This guy takes, like, 20 seconds, literally. 
I don't know why Wario decided to do that. Wario just doesn't want to listen to me today. That's Wario's thing. Wow, it's the first time I've ever seen a time up. Well, that sucked. Well, I know what I'm doing, that's the thing. <clears throat> There's no problem with that. I know what I'm doing. This is a very easy boss fight. I've just gotta concentrate a little bit more, I guess. Don't exactly know what to say. I suppose maybe an apple bomb or something would help, but not going to worry about that. See, like this takes like look at that. That's five precious seconds <clears throat> of him having to get up in the air. I could have better used those five seconds, to be completely honest. Oh, goody, we're gonna have this again. I mean, why would we ever let the player win? I can see why this game can be very rage inducing. It certainly is rage inducing for me. I mean, it is blind, and. And the worst part about it, the part that I'm getting mad about, is I know what I have to do. The game isn't allowing me to do it, though. That is why I'm mad. I'm not mad because it's hard, because it isn't hard. It's just that feet part. That's the only thing that puts my bits to the grinder. This part here. Because if you don't hit it in the right spot, well, it's just, that's just too bad for you now, isn't it? <clears throat> but we're doing good. We're doing good. Nothing really has changed so far matter of, uh... See, you little bastard? You wanna mess with me? I'm Wario, bitch! My nose, for whatever reason, has been itchy as... What the hell? In this entire recording. <laughs> I'm not liking it. Okay, that's okay, because at least I got a hidden. I got a hidden! I got a hidden passage. Oh, my voice died there. Yeah. Right in your genitalia. Well, I, I suppose a blow up teddy bear wouldn't have genitalia, but that's getting into a little bit too much detail. Oh, you bitch. Come here. I'll use you to attack your master right in his balls. Well, maybe. I don't care. Ah, oh, really? That's what the fire does? Bull shit. Oh, bastard. Get on the ground. And, oh no. One more to go. That's cool. That's cool, game. You want to draw this out longer than it needs to be? That's cool. Fine by me. And squadoosh! See you later, you little bitch. Whew! That wasn't too bad at all. And that, my friends, is the Topaz Passage. I will certainly say, by far, that was my favorite. That Topaz Passage really kicked ass. That was cool. And the boss was pretty easy to boot. Ah, what do you know? That is, that's three of the four passages. And tell you what. So now we did all that. Now the only passage we have left is the Sapphire Passage. Crescent Moon Village. Huh. Well, let's go take a look at that CD real quick for uh, the yellow one. Are you serious? Okay, that is really fucking annoying. I'm not listening to that. Um, yeah. So, I think I'm gonna cut the episode here. Cause, yeah. I'll just... 
it's just best to leave it here. So, in the next episode, we're going to take on the Sapphire Passage. We are going to take on the Crescent Moon Village. So, I thank you very much for watching, and this is Mr. Fedora Man, signing off. Bye.